Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of E-Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. <laughs> Alright, let's not waste no more time, let's get right into this reaction. I recently came across a video of a lady trying to buy plus-size clothes at a normal store. Do you have plus sizes at this location or no? Okay, thank you. Northridge? Okay, thank you. Hi. Um, do you have plus sizes at this location? Uh, the, the biggest size we carry in this store is the XL. Okay, thank you. Pardon? Do you have your plus sizes at the store at this location or no? Okay, thank you. If that's not a wake-up call to you, I don't know what is. Her whole comment section was just coming after the store for apparently being fatphobic because it didn't have a 5XL. I just really dislike how when someone doesn't like something, they point fingers. And in this case, they're calling the store fatphobic. And it irks me because the same thing's happening to me. One of her influencer friends posted me on her story and basically just called me a fatphobic and how I'm a bully. I'm just here to clear the air. I'm not fat phobic and I don't hate fat people. But what I will tell you is I have a lot more respect for the overweight person that is actively trying to lose weight and live a healthy lifestyle rather than the people that point fingers at you calling you fat phobic and use dumb excuses like being overweight just runs in my family. Dude, no one runs in your family. That was a good joke at the end there. I like that. I like that. I like that. You you end the video with a little bit of humor. Let them know, listen, I'm I'm still here for the jokes. I'm still here to to poke fun at you. I don't care that the fact that you call me names, right? And I love it. I love it, man. We need more people like this. Go out here and uh, stop the narrative. Because this is the main, main thing I'm seeing. A lot of people just, just be doing name calling. And it's usually liberals. It's usually liberals, right? They're the ones like, everything is something phobic, son. Like, which... They changed the definition of phobia, right? Because phobia is an irrational fear, right? But they making phobia synonymous with also hatred. <laughs> like, oh, it's not that you're scared. You just hate this person now. Fat phobic is that you, you hate fat people. <laughs> listen, listen. I just dis I dislike fat people who are preaching like the love for fat, like promoting fatness. I really do dislike those people. I don't care what anybody says, right? I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I dislike those people with such a great passion. With such passion, man, like the Lizzo's and everything, even though now Lizzo is trying to lose weight. So congratulations to her. Right. But yeah, um, like he said, I don't understand how this is not a wake up call to the, the tub of lard over here. Uh, walking around store to store, driving around rather store to store and just rolling into the store asking like, oh, what's the biggest size you have? Do you have a 7XL? Like <laughs> who has like what type of hefty ass like, bro, what type of bed sheet ass short go to mattress discounters or something like that? Go to, go to, go to, uh, 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 what do you call it? What type of, go to Walmart, buy a, a California King bed sheet and just cut the holes, make it into a toga joint. What are you talking about, son? Like, you're that large that you need something. No one, unless you're a bodybuilder, should be wearing anything higher than a 2X, maybe 3X, especially as a woman. Oh, God. I mean, a woman shouldn't wear anything more than a large. <laughs> like a large and that's pushing it that's for like the basketball girls and stuff like that you know what i'm saying but when you start wearing 2x maybe a 2x i mean no extra large at the most but like when you start two, more than 2 2x like how hefty are you slim what are you eating and that's not the i don't know if she's considered a plus size model right because you know the plus size models are like regular build that's what the real plus size models are a regular build they changed plus size models now to be obese joints <laughs> like it's like yo these are plus size models no these are hefty models we gotta we gotta differentiate that like this is hefty and there's plus size right so we got the hefty gargantuan ea sports big models and then we got the plus size models i think we just had that clarification now yeah, man, because there's even like stories of people saying like, oh, yeah, they don't have. A, I think I saw a woman get on a plane. She was saying like, yeah, they didn't have um, the special belt to accommodate larger people. Right. It's supposed to be a special belt that when you take two seats in the airline, it's supposed to cover up and just, you know, extend and everything like that. Right. And she was like, yeah, I can't believe they didn't have that right now. So we really had to wait for them to bring it out so I can be accommodated. I'm just like, get your fat ass like slim how about you lose freaking weight you are a detriment to the economy son you out here just eating 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 you gluttonous pig like stop it oh it runs in my family the fatness runs in my family that's just an excuse you're just fat let's be real you're just big you just like to eat you like snacks 
It's okay. I love snacks too. I'm not gonna hold you. Like for somebody who's not big, son, I eat a lot. I love food, bro. I love sweets. I love that, but in moderation. Still make sure I get my greens. Make sure I work out. Right? Do what I have to do in order to live a well nourished life. You know what I'm saying? It's as simple as that. This fat phobia thing is just a stop to, to, to take away the accountability that you are making bad life decisions in your life. You just keep eating bad and you have no self-discipline. And you just don't want people to say the fact that, hey, listen, man, you have low self-discipline, you're lazy, and you're just really, really fat. And you don't look good. You don't look good. You know how I know you don't look good? A lot of people support like, oh, this girl look beautiful. Oh, what are you talking about? Fat is beautiful. What are you talking about? Switch places with that person. You wouldn't want to switch places with that person. There are people who say, oh, Lizzo looks amazing. Hey, if I told you you look like Lizzo, would you would you be happy? May I say, yeah, you look, oh, wow, you look good. You look like Lizzo. Would you not take that as an insult? So shut the hell up. Like, like this is the thing that gets bad. Like, people, people, people act like, like, like we living in this weird world. Like, you, you know this. You know this is facts. But yet you feed on to the delusion of this, like, oh, yeah, it's fat. It's powering. It's, it's only even powering when you're a woman. You know what I'm saying? When it's a dude, he's just fat. <laughs> but it was a woman. It's like, oh, you got a fat phobic. Oh, people ain't fun of Drewski being fat, but no one is like, oh, you got some fat phobic. No one will say that. No one will say that. There's gonna be a dumb woman. Oh well, he's a comedian, so I mean, it's a little bit. Shut the hell up. Shut the, shut your dumb ass up. Man. I'm not even trying to hear like I'm just trying to do stupid stuff that Drewski's saying. Like it's just it's just dumb. Just shut up. Just shut up, please. Don't play with my intelligence. All right, Slim. Just wake up, lose some weight, and then you'll be all right. You won't have to worry about going store to store, driving an hour away to find something that's freaking large. You should get your shit custom made. Son. Call like I don't know a de deluxe warehouse or something like that. Super Max Deluxe Warehouse where they have the the premium seven XL T shirts and everything like that. Uh, what do you call it? Size 52, uh, 72 inch waist. Like, bro, like, go for those deluxe joints, you beefy-ass joints, son. And then you probably have to have some special shoes, too, because you know those big people be having the shoes, and the shoes look like they're leaning because they're so freaking humongous. It's a sneakerhead's worst nightmare when I see those things. I'm like, oh, my God, give me your sneakers, man. <laughs> like, you are destroying them. You're trying to stress them out of existence. Maybe what you're talking about, but, hey, neither here nor there, right? If you stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you always be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like. If so secure those likes, let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, you got to buy the merch. Mofo. Men offering me females. Oh, I was about to say men offering men orgasms. That's gay. All right. Well, I've been talking a lot. Uh, but that's all I got to say. Peace and blessings. You ugly mofos. And I'm out.